as always, one of, <clears throat> one of the videos that's going to be coming out soon is about keeping your hands up. So how many of y'all have ever heard Mr. Sealer say that in class before, keep your hands up? Anybody? Okay, so uh, he said something the other day which I thought was really profound and uh, I was like, yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense why we do what we do. Like, I didn't know why I did that. So in the video I talk about, you know, when you're a beginner martial arts student, we tell you all the time, keep your hands up. Miss Cameron, why would we tell a white belt to keep their hands up? So they don't get punched. See, she automatically thought about a punch. You always have to keep your hands up when you're in the short range and you're bobbing and weaving underneath and you're throwing your different punches and kicks because if you're still fighting like this in the short range, you're going to get your head knocked off. So how does this all kind of merge together? Let me just tell you what I'm talking about. So how many of you guys ever remember us discussing how to make time blocks? The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because um, when I got back from China, uh, my time block was like all screwed up <laughs> because it, well, I was adjusting to a new person. And, um, and the next karate kid was a little bit crazier then than he is now. And so uh, my time blocks were all kind of screwed up and I was screwed up as far as what time it was because of the time change. So <laughs> anyway, um, when I came back, I wasn't doing the time blocks as diligently as I had before I left. And then I kind of noticed that whole month of April, I just I felt off. Like I felt like I was behind and I wasn't getting things done and I was behind just because I had new, new stuff going on but I also wasn't able to keep track of my time as well. And part of that was because I wasn't dedicating time for a time block. So we are just a few minutes out from the Carabas Arena and Event Center uh, up here in Charlotte, North Carolina coaching Naga competitors. We've got the mascot right here. He came along with us. And then uh, Mr. Siegler, the man, the myth, the legend himself is up here driving. That's his job. He oh, normally does and keeps us on our toes. And we're going to be coaching. i uh, got a lot of uh, three new competitors, first tournament they've ever been to, and a couple of veterans as well. So uh, it's going to be a good day. I feel it. It's going to be awesome. Get in there, Jackson! Push it away! Push it away! 
Vamos ter! Vamos, 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 vamos! Faz isso, cara! Beautiful! Faz! So we just wrapped up yep. Naga. Naga. 4.44 in the afternoon. Long day. Got up at 4 this morning. Yeah, that's about true. Right there, 12 hours later, it's wrapped up, it's done. Good stuff. This guy had his first tournament experience. What you think? Did it go good? Did you have fun? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much his experience right there. He's pretty tired, but good day overall. Good competition, lots of things that we can go back to the drawing board. Now we're gonna spend the next three hours figuring out what we're doing for our competition team. Oh yeah. It's gonna be fun. See you later, vlog.